This ain't financial advice. Cardano's price is going up, and I don't give a f So, folks, let's talk about Cardano's leadership. The one and only Charles Hoskinson, Ada Lovelace founder, Ethereum co-founder. <laughs> so, <clears throat> here we are, trading sideways. Everybody's getting a little nervous. You're like a bunch of hyenas. That's what they're like. They're like a bunch of hyenas trying to attack the lion. That's what it's like the whole day. Just, <laughs> you know? So, there comes a time in every man's life where you have to draw the line in the sand, where you have to go with one thought group or go with another thought group where you have to say, I believe in that thing, it's good, or that thing stinks, and I'm out. You can't be on both sides. You have to pick a side, unfortunately. Doesn't mean you can't invest in other projects, but you either have to cut your losses, shut your mouth, or you have to hold like a big boy, like an adult, like a grown ass man. Take your lumps like everybody else who made money in crypto. And eventually, maybe, not financial advice, you'll get to where you're trying to go. And then everyone will stand around you and tell you how smart you are and how did you do it and yada, yada, yada. But the reality of the situation is that most people don't have the cojones that it takes to hold through the fight. I'll tell you a little story down memory lane. The year is 2017. I am a crypto, I call myself a crypto sophomore. I got into about 2016, turned five grand into 60 grand. And I had held it for a while. I mean, for me, a while. You know, in crypto, it's like, ah, oh, I've had this forever. Oh, how long you been holding for, Bob? Two weeks. It's done nothing. But, like, exactly. So, what did I do? 60 grand comes. I'm like, whoa, I'm sitting on a pile, boy. I don't have to wait for my uncle to die. I'm rich already. So I wrote it down to 30 grand. And I was like, oh cool, all my money got cut in half. And when it did that, I was like, oh no, what if it never goes back up? What if that was the top and I didn't sell? Oh, so what did I do? I did what any new person would do. I made a desperate trade. I said, I know what I'll do. I'll flip it into Telcoin, T-E-L-C-O-I-N-E. So I, I put the 30,000 in Telcoin, I think it was about at the time, 32,000 maybe. And guess what happened? Telcoin did 100X. Wrong, wrong. Telcoin sucked my money out like, like Daniel Plainviews drinks his milkshake. He drinks it up. And we cut that bag right down there, right there in about $6,200. Okay, that's worth about $6,200. Now, boy, and guess what you do then? Then you flip it into one chain, which goes up a little bit and then sucks it out again. Mm. And then what happens again? Then you say, screw it. I'm just going to buy Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Cardano and sit and wait. Because I'm a trading master now, clearly. <laughs> I mean, I'm a, I'm a regular... <laughs> I'm a, I'm a regular Jamie Diamond over here, boy. <laughs> Jamie Diamond hands. So, you have to remain calm when the storm is around you, okay? The person who's freaking out when chaos erupts is the person that I don't follow when things are going wrong. When you are under fire, you have to be able to remain composed or else you can go... 
I'm not going to say what I'm going to send to myself for YouTube. I love driving around. Driving is one of my favorite things. You just, I like to look at property, see what's out there. What do you, what do you got? What do you got? That's nice. Okay. You know, that's how you get a lay of the land. You know where you're from. And I just enjoy the feeling of driving. Now, speaking of that, I coming up on a dead end here. So, um, I ramble. So, Cardano. I'm going with Charles. Yep. I'm going with Charles. I've been going with Charles, and I'll tell you why. Because the man has created an amazing community. You know? Firstly, I was an investor, but now I'm a community member. And in being a stake pool operator, stake with nerd, stake with nerd, um, and somebody who's publicly on YouTube, I think that it behooves us to be leaders in the community, to, to not feed that negativity at all, to stay positive, not delusional, positive, okay? When everyone else is freaking out, there's a great quote uh, by um, Rudyard Kipling about remaining composed when everyone else is freaking out and losing composure. And I, I don't remember the exact quote, but it's beautiful. Um, and that's what that's what you have to do here because you know what everybody's tune will change in two weeks if it's the the Bitcoin breaks seventy five k and Cardano shoots to three dollars. I always know you see the comments change. They change. It's it, it's 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 like it's like watching little kids get candy. I mean, it is. And and, and I'm not gonna say I, I don't feel like a, a tiny bit of joy when the price hits all time highs. But I know in my head because I've been through this before that I'm holding long term number one. Okay. Unless it goes to like, look, I might sell if it hit twelve bucks. Okay. I think you'd be a little silly not to. With being how long I am on Cardano. With that being said. I don't know that we're going to hit 12 bucks. And I don't want to say this cycle because I think that, that just that frameology, this cycle. You, you say this cycle as if you know when in th this cycle starts and ends. This is, yes, a bull cycle. But you got to be careful with people who are saying this cycle. Okay. This cycle is so vague. Like th is this cycle could last six, seven years. Okay. This cycle. Okay. Traditionally, it's lasted less than that, but crypto went mainstream. Crypto can eat the stock market. Crypto can change the world with decentralized finance. And the people who haven't done their true due diligence are always the ones who are panicking the most. You can just tell. They have so very little knowledge of what Cardano even does. They don't understand the power of DeFi. They don't understand what is coming because if you just pull the veil back and you look underneath the magic carpet, you're going to see, whoa, Cardano doesn't even have to be the best one out there for it to be wildly successful. But then you say to yourself, well, it's one of definitely the top 10 best out there, okay, with arguably the best community, because what other community, you tell me, has leadership like Cardano? Look at all of the great leadership in Cardano, if you just look at YouTube uh, personalities, you have Pratesh, you have Bloom, you have Digital Fortress, you have um, uh, Army of Spies, you even have the Cryptovisor. I mean, these people all, I mean, I got to say, they say some good stuff, okay? And I don't I don't think that they've led, led people wrong. There are a, a number of good people out there in this ecosystem who have the right idea and they know where it's going. It just takes a little patience, my man. It takes a little patience. Oh, he's culturally appropriating again. So, <laughs> you can tell what accent I do. So, so what I would tell y'all is be cool, be calm. Don't put all your eggs in one basket, okay? I'm opening up a BlockFi account. Why? It's another place where I can let my money that's not in crypto, because I don't have my entire net worth in crypto, earn some money, okay? You always want a couple streams of income. 
even if it, because think about this scenario, okay? You make a hundred grand with crypto, okay? Your initial investment was, let's say, 20 grand, or yeah, let's just say 20 grand, okay? So you've just 5X your crypto, okay? All of the cryptos right now, including stocks as well, so you can apply this to stocks also, depending on where you got in, are at an all-time high, okay? You take out your principal, okay? And you put that other 20 into something else that can grow. Now you have two piles of money growing, okay? It may take another four to five years, okay? And maybe it'll take even longer. Once that 20 grand turns into 50 grand, maybe you take five or 10 out of that and put it into something else. Now you got three piles of money. Hopefully the crypto and the, and, and the BlockFi and whatever else you're doing, could be real estate, could be bonds, could be precious metals, could be a lot of different things, are continuing to grow, but they're all now diversified and edging them their way up there all while maintaining an income so that you're able to hold your assets and not have to sell them off. That is not financial advice, okay? That is a madman rambling in a car. <laughs> um, but I've heard people say things like that and uh, this is more of just a parody of it. So, <laughs> so um, yeah, that's pretty much my two cents on Cardano. We're diamond handing moon landing but you're not going to get to the moon in three months okay if you just got into crypto this year you're a crypto freshman and you're going to have to learn freshman courses you're not going to be in the senior course you're going to be in the freshman courses okay some of those freshman courses are i just got wrecked 101 or <laughs> you know how not to go complain on youtube 101 Stop believing the FUD from the bots in the comment section, 101. But you knew that because you've been in crypto for three weeks. Stay with nerd. Folks, it's been real. It's been groovy. And if I don't see you, I'll see you on the internet. I'm going hunting. Stay with nerd.